So five minutes passed as usual. We start our last session. Would like to Hello. be just. Can we start? Can we start? Yes, Victoria. Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, you have permission. Can you see it? Not yet. Oh, yes. Okay. Something happened. Uh, and now? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, so shall we start? Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, today we will talk about branding. This is one of the most important uh, uh, things uh, when you're trying to make someone a uh, major uh, persona. And as far uh, for our case, uh, for Vera Sergeyeva, it's also uh, very crucial. And uh, today we identified different brands that concerns our case. First of all, of course, it's a personal brand of Vera Sergeyeva. It's the brand of your uh, party, Edina Resia, brand of the Legislative Assembly, St. Petersburg brand because she's the citizen of St. Petersburg and she's from this city. And uh, at the end, we will uh, finalize, summarize your media image. Okay, let's start for, uh, with the personal brand of Sergeyeva. Uh, we believe that personal brand is uh, highly important and underestimated because uh, actually uh, this is the first thing that uh, you uh, you see in a person, especially physical appearance. Yeah, this is very important. Uh, areas of knowledge of the person, how is how he can, uh, or what topics uh, he or she can talk to, in what areas uh, he's an expert, and also communication style is um, also uh, really important. So these are main elements elements of personal brand. And let's uh, start with the physical appearance. So as I said, it's uh really important and we uh, analyzed here uh, where sergey was physical appearance so uh what we identified that she about her wardrobe she prefers pantsuits and mostly she wears black blue gray or brown tones of clothing with the uh, preference uh, given to black gray and blue so we can say that she avoids drawing attention to her appearance and also she really wears uh, uh, soft makeup, so uh, no, nothing uh, really bright and colorful. And also her haircut is a short haircut, is a classic hairstyle for female politicians. And also she usually wears uh, a set of chain earrings of the same color. And also she usually wears dress watch, which is uh, the most, the simplest and the most elegant and minimalistic um, accessory. Uh, what is your communication style that we would like to promote? Uh, so we would like to promote Vera Sergeyeva as a um, competent, a rational and pragmatic person. In communication, she is empathetically distant and does not allow familiarity. She does not like to argue, but prefers to explain and clarify. This quality is very valuable for a negotiator. So as a negotiator, she moves away from obviously heated discussions and pursues your line with the help of reasoned and consistent explanation of your position, influencing your opponents with logic, not emotions. Uh, and also as a negotiator, she strives for impartial, impartiality, abstracts as much as possible from emotional experiences in business matters. She tries to find uh, objective grounds for her decisions, uh, and she tries to state her vision of, of the problem in this system. Uh, and also Vera Sergeyeva, she shows calmness, poise, balanced judgments, and in any case, she does not change the rules of correct behavior. She acts decisively uh, in difficult uh, uh, circumstances, but she generally tries not to take risk and she is uh, rarely uh, creative. She might be uh, authoritarian, 
in management, but she cares about her subordinates. Uh, but at the same time, she constantly keeps them in good shape. And now let's look at the areas of knowledge. So as we already know, uh, we know she is the a lawyer, so it gives her credibility as a person um, who has knowledge in uh, uh, laws, government, regulations, and about political processes. And she also um, very credible about uh, St. Petersburg because she was born there. She cares about the city's history. And also she used to work as a juvenile inspector. Um, so she also uh, knows how to work with children. So these are main uh, areas of knowledge of Vera Sergeyeva. And now my colleagues will continue with the uh, next brands. Now let's talk about the brand that is Yedina Russia, the major Russian political party. So it was uh, founded in 2001 and it presents a collective type of brand, which is when um, a lot of people put their effort in it and it is based on personalities. Uh, it gained a success, um, significant amount of importance in 2007 when Vladimir Putin uh, joined uh, it as the head. And um, its, um, lo uh, its motto is to preserve and multiply. And they represent what is called Russian conservatism. Uh, they share Russian conservative values, uh, independence and self-sufficiency. They are pro-social justice and anti-globalism. As an emblem of this uh, political party, we can see the Russian flag and uh, the bear, the traditional symbol of Russia. So it all resonates with many Russian citizens. And now we would like to dwell on the uh, brand of the Legislative Assembly of St. Petersburg. On this very slide, we would like to provide, to provide basic information um, about this uh, official governmental body. So it is a um, permanent state legislative body of the city. Uh, it is, consists of 50 deputies that are elected for a period of five, five years, and they are uh, working on a full-time basis. Uh, then sometimes famous, fam famous sportsmen of St. Petersburg are chosen as deputies and they represent um, part of Yedina Russia. Probably that um, step is made to promote the image of the Legislative Assembly of the city. And as for uh, brand image it, in particular, uh, this uh, governmental body is located in permanent residence, residency in Marinsky Palace, and that reflects both the historical and cultural roots of the city. Then it is promotes the image of powerful official governmental body that represents St. Petersburg in relation to other state bodies. Uh, only citizens of uh, St. Petersburg can be elected as um, deputies. Uh, its powers and duties are defined in the Charter of St. Petersburg. Uh, having in mind main aspects of uh, brand image described by my colleague Elena, uh, I would like to fix several aspects uh, that we can borrow from uh, legislative uh, assembly branding. Uh, having in mind that website is the face of any brand, never mind whether it's a personal brand or a company of or any other institution, uh, I would like to draw uh, your attention to Vera Sergeyeva's website. Uh, the aspect of integration with St. Petersburg governmental branding, having in mind uh, coat of arms and other uh, aspects that we have already on our website, that's good. But uh, it's also worth um, structuring it uh, the way Legislative Assembly does in uh, their site, because it's better structured and um, 
easier to look for some uh, information, some documents. Uh, concise colors, um, color palette. Uh, if we look at uh, Vera Sergeyeva's uh, front page uh, of uh, her website, we can uh, at once count at least eight uh, variants of blue color. Uh, it uh, attracts too much attention and and uh, makes the site um, a little bit disorganized. That's why probably it's better to balance uh, the colors, to stick to one um, color and make everything the same style, the same uh, tonality, make the same tonality. Um, the background uh, flag, undoubtedly, we understand that this is a kind of connection to Edina Russia. this is connection to Russia, but having in mind it's too bright and having in mind that uh, it attracts too much attention, probably it's better to make it a bit less bright uh, or maybe even to change the background uh, into some less attractive um, image. Uh, and uh, also I would like to draw your attention to the font um, of uh, the website uh, page, uh, because uh, if we analyze the page of Vera Sergeva, we see that we have both as different fonts used uh, for this or that information. So, and um, it's not equalized. So, Sometimes it's uh, based to the left side, uh, sometimes it's centered. So um, it's not an official uh, way to present information and maybe it's better to um, make it a little bit more like the Legislative Assembly does. And uh, uh, the quality of visuals will also, well, is better to higher the quality. Now I um, speak about the brand of uh, St. Petersburg City. Uh, recently it has changed a little bit. So uh, St. Petersburg is considered to be the city of personalities and the city of souls. As the official data says, the motto of St. Petersburg now is create the great. So because it is the city of personalities, of souls, and everyone can make there something great and uh, enormous. Uh, also, one of uh, the key elements is uh, the sun, sun as a reference to northern latitudes and the polar night. So you can see it uh, in the picture on the bottom. So the circle where St. Petersburg is. And uh, also in the left picture, you can see the official letters in different languages how to write it. Now we are talk about media image of Sir Kepa. Mm. He appear not much, not peacefully attachment of her image, uh, regular update her image and her activity on the case. In this situation, the case is, is on the social platform to communicate her image. Media image of Sierke Ipa on legislative assembly of St. Petersburg of whole core value of Russia a chief part in the woman influence community, devotional, effective working, uh, good listener, and she, she always my it will, 
it will make her be more trustworthy and approachable. Um, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. That's all for us. Okay, who have suggestions, comments, maybe some question? Actually, no questions. It was very clear in the way you guys presented it. So thank you. Okay, so I have some suggestions, some comments. Thank you for your presentation. It was really good analysis. So, zero comments. First comments about federal. So, we have uh, federal law about uh, government servant. Uh, there is some recommendation about dressing, about wardrobe, but in real life, it's not very official. So, in 2019 or even 18, uh, one um, magazine have designed uh, the future development of uh, government servant look. So yes, they use the uh, word look, so it depends on situation, but um, okay. After that, you can, uh, if you will just uh, take a little right uh, back to the history at the back to the future, you'll find out that uh, several of our governments uh, change their uh, behaviors, change their wardrobe and makeup. Uh, with, uh, in this case, it's so also really work and it was really happened. So just keep in mind that in this uh, recommendation, uh, the classical style, the strong classical style that was before, even for women. So the women have only one freedom. They can uh, have uh, much more accessories. Uh, they can wear uh, T-shirts with uh, different colors, not only black and white because for men it was very strict that they can only wear suits with black and gray cars and also after changing recommendations they also uh, right now can use blue colors uh, costumes even uh, sometimes not very regular not very classical colors uh, something with strikes with spares so but before the CAS it was really restricted and it was really strong. So just um, check uh, some documents uh, that it's not only in Russia, but uh, in many governments. There's a document about wardrobe, job, about makeup, about uh, looking of government person. It's sometimes it's really interesting to use uh, and how you can use it in your promotion campaign because uh, uh, about uh, this look and about this uh, branding. So it's a it's a part of brand book of personal government personal government's uh, members and um, because uh, the government is like a big corporation. So they have their own brand book and they uh, and you can use it when you find it, of course. So uh, the next one, mm, when you talk about president of the country. So president of United States, Barack Obama, president of the United States, uh, Bill Gates, even more. So. If you talk about president, about the main person of uh, the government, you must talk uh, with title or you can use only the full name of the person. So in our case, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin or the president of Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. So don't use short name because Vladimir Putin is just a single person, just a citizen. So his influence on... Um, uh, Yedina Russia is uh, as a citizen was not very wide, but as a president, as a prime minister, uh, his influence was very great. 
So just keep in mind that uh, uh, like with some ministers or with some uh, high position and person, uh, you must use their title even in presentation, even in your speech. So, um, like with professor, PhD, so doctor, so it's it's a title you must use it. And um, current design was great, uh, really good that you <laughs> have seen that some um, vinaigrette. Uh, take place on site. Okay, I have one question. It's like a suggestion. So how do you think if your governing person will behave herself like uh, Milo, and as governing person? Uh, will it good for your brand or not? Behave like who, sorry? um uh, strange that you didn't know so we have a very um, famous person it's a deputy of federal uh, government uh, vitaly milot uh he's from saint petersburg but right now he's working on uh, state government so um, he's a blogger uh, an author of uh, several video scandals, uh, some laws with uh, not very simple um, expectation and not very simple permission. So um, just check him out uh, as a person. Maybe you can use some um, of his brands. Um, categories so he's a media person and he's really good media person so sometimes okay uh he tries to look uh, like uh, vladimir wolfovich jirinovsky but he has some personal behavior that make him more mm, informal we can make so okay if you don't know this person okay no problem um i can say okay in another word so what will be happen with brand if your candidate will become more informal it depends on the level of this informality and on the channel yes you Okay. Yeah, it depends. Some that, uh, oops. Uh, these days we can see that uh, some politicians they are uh, personally uh, they are actively using social media and they are by themselves in charge of what they are posting. And uh, we can see that, for example, there was some uh, there was a deputy. She was uh, showing uh, on her Instagram page how she makes. Uh, dinner like she was share uh, she shares some recipes with her follow followers and etc and it's like and she's a deputy and I noticed that uh, people were like really active uh, when she was uh, showing her uh, informal uh, life and sometimes it might be a good thing uh, because it can uh, show the credibility and people can trust you because they can see that you are the same as us and you also have family you have problems and you also do the same things that we do and it's it, it might be a good thing but also yeah it depends and Rosanna would like to mention yes I see okay Rosanna go on. Uh, if uh, I'm unfortunate Unfortunately, I don't know the person you named, uh, but if we uh, take an example of Mr. Uh, Zhirinovsky, actually he had, if I'm not mistaken, something like 5% of uh, audience, the one that he gained. And actually that was enough for his purpose uh, to get uh, involved into um, those spheres he was invited to. So uh, understanding that uh, there are some uh, closed rules that um, these politicians have to follow. Yes, this is an option. But uh, the thing is that Mr. Mr. Zhirinovsky was uh, an exceptionally clever person. 
And uh, the way he behaved was really uh, uh, an actor, the way an actor must behave when he performs uh, a show. And uh, we need to uh, be sure that uh, it is um, her ability and she has resources as emotional, so and intellectual to perform this. Because if it becomes her real nature and if um, a kind of scandalous um, image will be her real image, uh, it's a bit um, complicated and is doubtful that she will gain um, popularity, positive popularity and uh, her voters. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay. And um, one thing. So it's really good uh, uh, that you mentioned, yes, Vladimir Vortovich has several high education. He has, uh, uh, he has been, if I'm not mistaken, a doctor of political science or of journalism. Oh, I, I don't really he's remember. A, he's a linguist, I guess. He... Um... He, uh, particularly about some um, Turkish languages and in this part he was a philology uh, in, in philology, Doctor and... philology okay that's um, more close and uh, to our theme also uh, so he was a jester so a jester in history or why we were why it became the discussion a jester in history uh, was very I would say was very close to emperor and the jester can talk everything that he think about everybody he was not a fool he was one of the cleverest person in history and uh, uh, he has now became some punishment for his world or for his uh, maybe some suggestions and for his job and uh, someone said that Vladimir Vokovich was a jester also, sometimes the jester means the joker. It's more close uh, for understanding for you that a person that have some uh, jokes, but jokes that tell true. So, just remember that in politics, as in real life, when you promotion a corporate brand or personal brand, you must uh, use not only logic, you have shown that your candidate have a good logic, a strong logic ability, but also you must show that he or she also has some emotional side. Uh, we will talk about this thing today and I will give you a um, more proper term to use in your professional life uh, and also the terms that you can use uh, in your future profession, not only in marketing, even in language because we have uh, neuro linguistic programming or something else you can use okay mm. and it also depends not only on logic but also on emotion okay any more suggestion question maybe mm -hmm. If, uh, if I may, and uh, what to do with, uh, for example, those risks about her personal brand, having in mind that still she has already a reputation and uh, we have already uh, several aspects that were evident and uh, that were presented in some TV shows in um, her presentations, those that... Uh, leave much to be desired so to say how to um, how to close those aspects how to um, correct not very good impression that was already performed having in mind that we work on personal brand uh, yes good question so in this case you must understand that only the brave will have um, the medal. Uh, so don't be shy, but use uh, 
the right tool for the right audience. You must analyze the audience, the target audience for the tool. Uh, you can use a targeting advertisement uh, or targeting material. In so um, also if you use SMM, uh, you must understand in what group you need this material to be posted. All deputies has some connections with mass media. They have some links, they have some contacts with uh, journalists, so you can use uh, different channels in different situations. Uh, for better understandings uh, of uh, different audience. Also, you can use an A-B testing for your marketing hypothesis. It's when you use your site, but the site has two versions. And so for different audience, you can select the different appearance of your site. It's a different appearance of information, even the different appearance of design. Uh, of course, it's really work only when your visitors uh, share with you some cookies. But today it's not a really big problem because of uh, some technology spying of your private and personal life. Uh, also, uh, you must understand that uh, when you change anything, um, you will have in every case, even if it's a perfect example with a little kitty and a girl, you someone will say oh it's a bad example and uh, give you some toxic uh, answers some toxic questions some toxic comments so, okay so one two three four, uh -huh. four person still on the way i will continue so uh you will have some negative objections and some negative feedback and it's okay it's really good uh, i will explain so the best feedback is negative feedback because when you say oh everything okay you think nothing to your marketing person to your marketing department because they don't understand what mean okay what's okay it was okay in general okay in some cases or something else so when you get a negative feedback you must understand that it's it's not a bad situation it's a good situation one of the perfect situation you haven't have because uh the people with negative feedback uh usually not always usually uh more logic maybe sometimes they have more strict objective and more strict goals and they want to be more formal uh even in this situation we receive some uh, negative feedback from regular editor of where sergeva when uh, she tried to change the appearance of her posts but the time has come and the editor became more loyal for new design for maybe some new appearance so you must understand that an old editor is good but when you work only with old editory, it's bad for your business, it's bad for your marketing tool because you, you must uh, evolve your channel. Uh, you must wide your editory every day as a marketer. And in your strategy, you must understand that uh, the feedback from your editor is really important, but um, in many cases, it's more emotional than constructive. And you must analyze this feedback and uh, never delete any messages in social media. Mm. Yes, not always. Sometimes you need to, to delete it, to raise it because they are out of the theme, out of the something moral, ethical grant. So uh, when the people became just like a maniac or something else. So in this case, you must give uh to person some individual work with objections uh, and maybe work with this person more in private uh in general um you can give a warning to some editorial person and uh, that will be a marker that uh, you rule this uh, conversation Sometimes you can use some jokes. Sometimes uh, you have no idea how to, you have no situation 
to use some jokes and remember that you can jokes only about yourself as a person not about a company not about company image or something else so when you use some jokes it must be very personal never touch your relatives your friends your colleagues or your firm or brand jokes can be only personal and only about you not about your editor um it's not about ethics it's about uh, something more deep um, about showing some weakness of you as a person as a people uh, as a man or a man here not uh, with gender stylistics so just for your understanding because we are still in europe and we still have some ethical issues uh, and um, in this case you need to collect as maximum feedback as you can so make some experiments so make some theories so you can include and you must include some theories in your marketing strategy plan uh, uh, so it's um, everyday work of marketers or you have a hypothesis and you need to check it uh, you can use a very small editory, a focus groups, or you can use a loyal channels, a loyal group. So sometimes many companies use several uh, social media groups, social media channels, uh, and you have uh, shown it with uh, uh, some brands. So and it really works so with McDonald's, with McChicken, McNuggets, and so on. Um, and in personal branding, it really works the same way. And I talk about uh, Vitaly Milonov as one of the maybe more attractive for editorial person because uh, he's not a jockey, he's not a jester. Sometimes he became more, um, it will be not correct from my side, so I don't want you to <laughs> translate it to another verse. Sometimes his behavior is more uh, under the line and it's like uh, from, from circus, but not from high politics. And it's a very, very a little short red line that divides these two situation with Vladimir Vokhler Zhirinovsky and Vladimir oh, oh, Vitaly Milonov. Vitaly Vladimirovich, if I'm doing um, O Valentinovich. Valentinovich. Um, and this uh, small red line that divides these two patterns of behavior. So you can use the both of it if you understand how you will work with uh, some toxic arguments, some toxic comments, uh, and you're ready to collect them, to understand uh, the meaning of them, how you can use it in your work. And uh, sometimes uh, also not every comments is uh, useful. Some comments you can just grab and put in a trash bin. So don't be shy about it. Sometimes people write something that they want to write with emotion it's like an emotion flow with uh, no good thoughts inside just keep it in mind okay a uh, small pause uh, has come so we will come back with this question at the end of our session and right now i want the second team with their presentation who will start i will show the presentation okay mark one second okay you have a permission wait um. so i hope you can see the presentation Yes, it's okay. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Today, we are going to talk to you about our brand, the uh, Paradox, and Liang Zhili will start with build brand strategies. Uh, 
Good evening, everybody. So I start from the part one. It's uh, build a brand strategy. Um, the first one is develop your internal brand. Provide a solid foundation for your brand to develop your internal brand, including your purpose, your vision, your mission, and your values. Mm, second. Oh. Uh, ne next page. Mm -hmm. Can you see the slides change? Yeah, it's but, but it's um. I should be go back because the, the second page is this define one. your target. Yeah, is this one. Um, define your target audience. Use every tool at your disposal to paint a picture of who your audience are and to get their pain points and their emotion about the brand. A third one is uh, map your brand landscape and uncover your brand position. Uh, your brand is to offer the different things in the marketplace to make your audience turn their heads off their competitors and look forward to your brand. Uh, the fourth is um, shape your brand personality to infuse your message, one new characteristics with your brand, inject uh, advertising to your brand to attract your target audience and establish a connection between your brand and the audience. The next one is uh, craft your brand story, make your audience translated by story and the primary way to remember your brand and build their trust on your brand. Design your brand identity. Design logo, photography, the color, palette, the image. Bring the virtual into reality, which deliver a message based on the website, your brochures, your business cards, and advertisement. Develop your brand name and tagline. Plant a set in the mind of your audience by what different your brand is from other competitors and what you want your audience to remember. Design your brand awareness strategy. Prioritize this, those congregations in terms of where your message are going to be more effectively and uh, technically develop a specific message for each of those environments. The last one is uh, launch your brand. Arrange your budget for launch your brand and apply your brand across your business. Hey, Igor. Yeah, sure. And now we would like to talk about the reproparatic branding basics. And I would say that there are four distinct features of the reproparatic branding. These are public awareness, projects with no borders, ongoing support of these projects, and accessibility. And when we talk about public awareness, is it's <clears throat> that the reproparatic states that their aim is to raise of this, the public awareness about the accessibility problems. They try to implement projects for everyone and uh, they don't leave their projects after finishing them just so they could uh, move on and, and do other projects. No, they insist that they provide an ongoing support of those projects. They don't leave them as it is. And accessibility remains one of the most key points in their branding. And uh, next, uh, we would like to talk about their strategy. And uh, in this case, I think we are dealing with branded house strategy, 
In this regard, we have uh, podcasts which are named Dobra Paryaduk. They have projects, obviously, under their name. And they also have a YouTube channel which also promotes their organization and it uh, provides an insight what is going on with their pro projects and it gives, um, so to speak, their eternal assessment of their projects. So, and about steps to increase our brand awareness again. So we need to create a brand personality. Uh, in order to achieve high brand awareness, we must have strong brands. So strong brands are memorable and have a personality and voice of their own. So it is important to give the, the job of periodic um, personality that is true to our brand and will resonate with our target audience. And the voice that can be funny, like emotional, happy, that also can resonate our identity. Second is use influencer marketing. So here we can, like all social media platforms have influencers that can create contests focused on different interests. And here we can use this influence to promote uh, and to share our like views uh, and values with them with the help of these influencers. So this the third is use content marketing. So increase the volume of content that we upload on our social media platforms as we already mentioned about. Uh, the next is create referral programs also, like referrals provide current uh, customers with uh, incentive to refer our products or services to their friends and family. Um, the next is create more video content uh, because video marketing is a great way to capture the attention of our target audience, the social networks uh, that we still have in Russia, like uh, I don't know, Telegram or YouTube. And the uh, uh, last uh, focus on online, um, uh, uh, remember to also focus on uh, online content and also to offline con content. So here it's important to also incorporate like brand awareness so strategies and focus on some campaigns like, like offline marketing campaigns such as uh, billboards, uh, posters and brochures. Uh, so, and we need to um, uh, draw our attention. So why we need to get uh, to get attention of uh, interesting people. So interested people and those who need more information are already our target audience, let alone volunteers who are ready to walk in the first place. So we need to make uninterested people into interested ones. So why is it important? By capturing personal data from our prospective clients and site visitors, we can learn more about our target market and begin to form long-lasting relationships with our clients based built on loyalty and trust. So here we need to be clear about the purpose and objective of our lead capture campaign. Um, then we discussed it before and don't request too much personal information like in email address is usually enough and we need to find the right balance or give and take. Uh, thanks for your attention. Okay, thank you. So, who has some questions, suggestions, maybe comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, no one. Uh, as usual, I have. So, thank you for your presentation. Today it was a man's power, so it's not uh, sexual harassment or something else. So just uh, it's okay uh, because I see that uh, manly uh, your girls uh, was in charge and was your voice. So uh, good to hear your voice. Uh, for all for the whole of presentation so about colors of your presentation so as you can see if you understand that um uh, not from the set okay once again like on tv next double um 
when you talk about brand colors and about brands uh, of the company you must use brand colors and brand books so as you can see on the website of your company there is only one red color and it's on links um then the main color what the blue one the blue one the black and even a yellow this is a color you can use and you must use in your presentation because you must show a connection with your brand and with your presentation it's just a small hint for your future and corporate life it's like making some presentation for Mrs. Uh, in, in the future when you will become um, a student of qualification year and uh, maybe of uh, science week, uh, you must use presentation of our university with our brand colors, with our brand elements. Uh, so right here and right now, you can also use it or sometimes uh, when you came in the company, uh as marketers you the, the first of your question must be do you have a brand book uh because every communication every act of your communication with your customers or with your stakeholders uh must be corporate uh, because even colors like uh, it was in the team one really cares then uh, the images you use uh, red apples or red suns or something else so it's about symbolism uh, just remember that uh, the symbolism also work mm, like when we watch on uh, FedEx company you can see that uh, Fed X and they have an arrow in their logo. So it's one of the parts of the emotional, of the logic, uh, and uh, of the symbolism that really works even on the picture of your brand. So it's like a moving forward and moving up and moving fast because they have not only one arrow, but they have two arrows there. And so uh, it's really work on something like um, emotional side um you can use also these elements in your presentation mm, the next one be more accurate with your presentation one of your slides was incorrect because of uh changing the position of the text it's really um, passing in, in a nice. And also you have done good that you have choose uh, the strategy, but um, I think that information was not enough. So uh, you just say uh, the main idea, what we need to do. But for, for good presentation, you must give some good examples. It's a comment uh, for the team one and for team two. Just imagine the situation that you have a limited budget and limited uh, uh, resources. And what will you do in this situation? Just imagine this situation and say that. In perfect situation, we will do in that way, in that way, in that way. And if you have not very wide budget we will work uh, in such way and uh, also we will um, maybe reject some points of our general plan and yes okay it's very useful mm -hmm. about personal info that you can collect and you must collect uh, in your strategy not in real life the main purpose for you to collect as much information as you can uh during our session i will show you how it uh, works uh, and uh, how you can implement it in inside of your strategy uh, it's just a part of your customer journey map 
And on every point, you can collect a little piece of information for some price. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. Thanks all for your work. So it will be the last presentation before the general, because right now we have our last session. Um, it was very short course. And today we will talk about marketing communication methods and strategies. Maybe not strategies. It's about only marketing communication strategies. It's not a marketing strategic and so uh, it's about integrated marketing communications we have talked about it uh, on our previous previous sessions i will just refresh you uh, some information that um, integrated marketing communication uh, in early promotion was considered as a stream of um, so before integrated marketing communication, your communication was focused on some uh, synergic effects of a wide presence of your brand, so of your firm, and so on, so on. So from television, from uh, radio, from some uh, magazines, and so on, so on. So the main idea was the wider and the more often you appear to your customer the better but the budget was not so perfect and um, the integrated marketing communications that came after developing uh, some internet uh, era became a single multi-channel communication focused on establish uh, bilateral long-term contact with target market. So the main idea is to contact with your editor. And uh, this manifest uh, has a synergic effects, uh, which makes uh, a possibility to achieve the efficiency that is difficult to achieve when using a certain types of marketing communication, like classical communication on TV, on radio, and so on and so on, because there are no feedback no communication with your auditor, no interactive sites. So, and um, at the same time, the concepts of promotion and communications are often um, identified, which is not true. Um, since all elements of the marketing mix and not just parts of the promotion policy, because the promotion is promotion and marketing is marketing. So, and so uh, all of this points and all of these uh, strategies um, involved in communication with customers. So the main of your jobs and so for you as a market is to establish this communication with your customers. And when we talk here about your customers, we talk not only about your audience, uh, but also of your stakeholders, stakeholders. So it's also your customers because they buy your money because they buy your time, because they buy your professionalism. And so every day, why it's really cares that integrated market communication needs to be established and uh, you need a strategy how to establish it in a proper way, because it's a very small line between present and annoying advertising that you um, received every day in your life because every company want to grab your attention uh, from the first meaning of your awakening even when you sleep they want to grab your attention but in another way and the common challenge for people on uh, you in marketing to learn about how, how many marketing communications tools and methods are now available and understand how to use them effectively and this course i just we try and just to talk about strategies but not about the tools because um, we need really huge amount of time for understanding every point of them so this session will be the last and as you can see it is like a bonus because it's very wide and so i don't think that half an hour will be enough for understanding but i beg you to check um, 
the canvas course because uh, it's um, there are a lot of tables a lot of information a lot of terms that you can use in your future practical life uh, with some examples and with explanation what why it works in such a way and um, uh, right now we will talk just if, in general about them about main points so uh, you must know the difference between an art that you get your attention and one you just tune out for example um, and right now i will try to explain how these things work uh, because uh, every promotion every communication every marketing communication um must recognize which uh, buy one get one free offers are a great deal and which one seems like uh, right so the main points here as usual uh and the underlying principles we've discussed it up to this point apply to all of them it's knowing your audience define strategy setting objectives crafting the message nothing has changed during our first sessions so everything works and everything works fine and um, this is where parts uh, diverge in the tools themselves and uh, this is how you will understand uh, about design of a great art and uh, you must know how to produce a memorable event and how to get coverage for your organization in the news media and how to use email yes email is still alive and still work and social media is skillfully for marketing purposes and so on so on so on it's way wide so two sets settings that you can use even when you have a really little budget so yes today we will talk about promotion mix and um whenever you think you are more a generalist or a specialist marketing offers great opportunities for creatively and experimentation as already mentioned you must have some hypothesis uh, that you will check and uh, receive some results and there will be always um, a place for a new idea for a new strategy for a new tool or a combination of tactics that marketers can tour into integrated marketing communication magic for their companies and for their customers and as you um, can see uh, you will gain some experience when you will get more practice with these tools how uh, to use basic tools and approaches and um, after that you will see some opportunities how you can mix them or try with them something new and you should do this thing because in the market it world fresh is good it's very hard area and it's changed every minute of your life it's already mentioned when you use the same tool at the same situation you will not get the same results okay in general so what means promotion mix and not marketing mix promotion mix it's an advertising public relations sales promotion personal selling direct digital and guerrilla marketing yes 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 that one only here at the end of our course not on the strategy level because it's tactics level just remember it's a part of a strategy and you must uh, mix and uh, make a balance between your strategy and your tactics so about advertising pay to play Advertising is any paid form of communication from an indefined source or source that draws attention for ideas, goods, services, or even sponsor itself. Most advertising is directed towards um, groups of people rather than individuals. And advertising are usually derived from media such as television, radio, newspapers, uh, some medias, uh, not social medias, but some media channels like um, Medium, or uh, even in our country Yantex uh, and other big channels in the internet and ads are often measured in impressions so 
Here, yes, the ads measure expression, not in social media, but even here. And the number of time a consumer is exposed to an advertisement. Oh, sorry, what is that? Too many expression for me. Okay, so advertising have three primary objectives to inform, to persuade, and to remind. Yes, it's connected with marketing mix and it's connected with the great marketing strategy and it's really work. So informative advertising creates awareness of brand, of products, services, and ideas. It announces new products and programs and can educate people about uh, the attributes and benefits of new or establishing products. So when you launch new products before that, you can do some promotion ads uh, that will help to launch your products on the market because the people will know some facts uh, about your products even before the launch. And next type is persuasive advertising. Persuasive advertising tries to convince customers that a company's service or products are the best. And it works to alter perception and enhance the image of a company or a product. So it's improved. And its goal is to influence customers and consumers to take an action and sometimes to switch some brands from one to another, try new products or remain loyal to a current brand. So you can use it in a serial way. And a reminder advertising of as you already can suggest, reminds people about the need for products or service, uh, or the features and the benefits it will provide when they purchase promptly. Yes, it's really important part of your advertising because sometimes people just forget about you in this uh, ocean of advertisements uh, and of grabbing attention. So. Sometimes you need to remember them about you. So, and right here, so the advertisement as your promotional mix and all of your promotion have the informational appear that offers facts and information to help the target audience make a purchasing and not only purchasing, but to make a decision. It tries to generate attention using rational argument and evidence to convince consumers to select the products and the brand. It's about logic. It's about facts. It's not about emotion. Because about emotion, the emotional appeal that targets consumers emotional, that want and needs rather than rational logic. Uh, and it's not about gender. It's all about your consumers at all. And um, they don't need logic facts. Sometimes your target audience needs a emotion, a strong emotion, a wow effect. And it uh, plays on continuous of sufficient desires, beliefs, fears. I don't want to recommend you use some fears. Sometimes you need it, but the fears is a very strong impression. It's a very strong emotion, but it's very short emotion. And sometimes it's negative emotion. Uh, and um, okay, the emotional appears uh, insecurities to persuade consumers and influence their behavior. People don't like sometimes when you play with their behavior, not with their logic. Um, in other world, if you want to create a long term relationship, you must use the informational appear. If you need also get a great attention right here and right now, you must use the emotional appeal and it's really work. So mix it together and you will get one of the great advertisements in the world. And also you need the media plan when you use any advertising and every social media post and so on, so on, so on, so on. So Always you need the media plan for your promotion. And the media plan is a document that outlines the strategy and approach of an advertising campaign or the advertising component. 
uh, in um, integrated marketing strategy campaign Speech and phrases. Okay. And the media plan is developed similar with the creative strategy. So you have a strategy plan, a creative strategy, and a media plan. So it's three points of your marketing plan. And a standard media plan consists of four stages. Four. Uh, stating media objective, evaluating media, selecting and implementing media choices, and determining the media budget. So, media objectives are normally started in terms of three dimensions. Reach, frequency, continuity. Reach, number of different persons or households exposed to a particular media or uh, of media schedule at last once during a specified time period. So you must understand that in media plan you have specified time period. Uh, I suggest you to use uh, two weeks and three months as the main periods of your uh, media plan. Mm, I'm not talking about so that your advertising only shown with this periodical, but you must even change a picture of your advertisement, an idea of your advertisement must be the same, but the picture and maybe some words, maybe some slogans, uh, you must change every two weeks. And you will see some results of your advertisement after three months. Only after three months of uh, advertisement, you will see some results because it's, mm, it's not a formula, but it's a practical issue. And you will see it in your practical life, in your practice frequency. Uh, talking about frequency, we talk about the number of times within a given time period that consumer is exposed to a message. So how much uh, times you will see this, um, these parameters when you will schedule your uh, advertisement in Google platform or in Yandex platform or Yahoo platform. So um, you can see uh, the number of times of connection with one consumer. Uh, continuity, the time in of media as certain. Uh, it means that uh, how much money you will spend in every period. So um, as an example, 10% in September, 20% in October, 20% in November, 30% in December, and 10% in the rest of the year. So um, this means that your advertising budget must be divided into several parts. The next, evaluating media. Oh, no. uh, the process of evaluating media involves considering each type of advertising available to a marketer. Uh, and it means that sometimes you have a political restriction, a financial restriction, or even some company policies restriction. Uh, and um, you must understand the strengths and the weakness of strategies with each medium and with each media platform. And the evaluation process requires research to access options for reaching the target audience with each uh, medium channel and how well a particular message fits the audience in that medium. And many advertisements uh, really have on the reach finding provided uh, by the medium, by their own experience and by subjective appraisal to determine the best media for a given campaign. So. Practice, practice, experience, and measurement. So selection and implementation. After making your research, the media planner must make decision about the media mix and timing. Both of which are restricted by the available budget. Yes, it's all about money. And the media mix decision involves choosing the best combination of advertising media to achieve the goals of the campaign. And you must remember that all of your campaigns on, uh, must uh, be connected with the mission of your company and the mission of your brand. And this is a difficult task uh, and it usually requires evaluating each medium quarterly and quarterly to select a mix that optimizes reach and budget as already mentioned. So three months is an optimal time period for your advertising company. And talking about uh, basic three common patterns for advertising shadowing. It must be continuous, lighting, or pulsing. 
or 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 it's not just being mixed in one time so continuous advertising runs ads steadily at a given level indefinitely this shadow works well products and services that are cons uh, consumed on a steady basis through the year or more long period of time and the purpose of advertising is to nudge customer remind them and keep a brand products top of mind so uh it works with a product you have already developed and so uh, that have a really good inflammation of the mind flighting involves heavily sports of advertising followed by the parrots uh, with no advertising so have advertising no advertising advertising no do that it's about hitting your editory so um, we have some terms in marketing about hitting editor when your editor become warmer and uh, we have some periods when your editor become overheated uh, that means that uh, you have graphed too much attention of your editor and they haven't received uh, any new information from your advertising and become boring and sometimes you need to make a pause and so sometimes uh, your businesses have a period so like a seasonal uh, spring summer winter or even in other seasons like uh, some products for school um, and uh, mm, even taxes as well as one of the time of occasional elements and Paulson mixes continuous shuttle with flighting to create a constant drum beat of arts uh, with periods of great intensity, uh, with using some seasonal points. And this approach matched products and salads for which there's a uh, year round appeal, but there may be some seasonal of periods for greater demand or intensely like some christmas products that so okay you can sell for the whole year but you must sell it as intensely before the christmas uh, also it uh, works with hotels and airlines uh, with some seasonal weather periods and some advertising during the holiday periods and the holiday seasons okay and yes everything needs measurement and you must add testing as already mentioned our a b testing is one of the way and uh, primarily add uh, concepts with members of a target segments to see which ones resonates best and the best insights about how to fine tune message or other aspects uh, of the app to make them more effective. In Facebook, uh, you have uh, some uh, mechanism that works uh, independently from your advertisement and uh, you need to grab more attention for this mechanism because your budget will leak to the tube if you don't stop it in a proper way when you use uh, inside a bad targeting into facebook if you use only social media uh, the way you really like to use and organization may conduct additional testing with uh, near final advertising pieces to do more fine tuning uh, of the messages and visuals before going public so it's all about using some target audience focus groups uh, maybe uh, you will try just to make a test on a little region on little group of people with strict parameters before widespread of your idea and to guard the impact of advertising organization may conduct pre-test and post-test of their target audience it's about feedback uh, and it's about measuring advertising and its effects uh not only with digital parameters uh, sometimes uh, when you use offline media now also you need to measure the promotional points the promotion level of your advertising so 
it was just about advertising and paid promotional but the another to its public relations yes uh it's not the same as integrating marketing communication but it's a part of it and it's connected with it and uh, public relation it's about getting attention to polish your image your marketing image your brand image and public relation is a process of maintaining a favorable image and building beneficial relationships between an organization and public communities, groups, and people it serves. So it's about communication with your customers. Unlike advertising, which tries to create a favorable impression for paid message, public relations does not pay for attention and publicity. In many cases, uh, but not always. And um, uh, many marketers did not say to use that public relations is very expensive. Um, many publications and many magazines cost money and cost a lot of money. Even when you have a good um, information about your company, it was a great event. You have a great information that uh, will be very important to a wide uh, target audience. They don't care, they need your money. It's like working with influencers and with bloggers, they need your money. If you have money, you'll have a honey and you will have their audience. So public relations is not free for all and free of charge. It's really um, cost-effective. It's more cost-effective than paid promotion, but you need a budget for it. Uh, and um, PR strives to earn a favorable match by drawing attention to newsworthy and attention worldly activities of the organization and of customers. For reason, PR often referring to a free advertising, but it's not free, as I already mentioned. Um, it requires uh, also salaries to be paid for people uh, who oversee and execute PR strategy, and you need to understand that you need or you will put it inside your marketing strategy budget. And it also involves expenses stretched with even sponsorships and other PR relatives activities. Even if you became a sponsor, you paid for it. On every conference, just to make your small promotional siblet or small promotion mark, you must pay for it. Okay, so the purpose of public relations so i will now whoop yes zoom it in mm -hmm. so like advertising public relations seeks to promote organization products services and brands but pr activities also play an important role in, in defining and building relationships with influential individuals and group responsible for shaping market perceptions in the industry or products category where an organization operates. So public relations efforts strive to the following, build a maintain a positive image, inform target audience about positive association with products, positive, remember about this work, and maintain good relationships with influencers, uh, generate goodwill among consumers, the media and other target audience and similar demand for products uh, and head of critical or unfavorable media coverage. Da, da, da. Also, public relations offer an excellent tool set for generating attention wherever there's something useworthy that marketers would like to share with customers, prospective customers, the local community or other audience. PR professionals maintain relationships in different ways. They connected with reporters, writers who wrote covers news about the company, product category, industry, so they can alert media organization when news happens. It's really hard work. And uh, here you can see some um, cases uh, where you can use a PR. It's a PR cases. Uh, it's not just uh, marketing cases and uh, you can use these cases for PR promotion and uh, include these cases in your marketing strategy plan. Uh, it's a case when you use public relations. So once again, something about development, 
taking part in events, uh, sponsorship, and uh, about merging. And so it's about changing some relationship with other companies and uh, about even hiring a high top professional and uh, talking about uh, new assurement and new points of your products of your company. And uh, the technique is not very wide, so it's a standard, so it's media relationship, it's influencers, it's a publication through leadership, event sponsorship, award programs, and crisis management. Okay, you will find this table with examples in Canvas course. Just remember you. Uh, I will try to make the things faster, but I don't think that <laughs> we are going to close. Okay, so uh, the opportunity of public relationships, uh, its advantages and disadvantages, uh, we will, okay, shortly. The opportunity to amplify key messages and my thoughts is advantages of public relationships. It's believable. It's employer pride. It's engaging people who visit your website or talking about you in media and so on and so on. Disadvantages, as already mentioned, it's cost. Yes, it's really a huge cost. It's less cost than paid promotional, but it's really needs a great amount of money. It's lack of control because you don't understand feedback from your editor uh, and uh, missing the mark. Um, you understand, you must understand that your editor has their own meaning. And sometimes when you think, oh, it's great event, it's great award, uh, you can receive some negative objective and some negative comments. Okay. Uh, so the links between public relations and integrated marketing communication or uh, public relations activity can provide significantly greater benefits to organization when they happen in conjunction with the board IMC effort rather than on their own because they are focused heavily on communication with a case stakeholders group and it's stand to reason that the other marketing communication tools should be used in conjunction with public relationship. So public relationships, it's for your investors and you need another tools for your consumers because uh, public relations is more for your investors, for your shareholders. It's an image of your company in mass media. So sales promotions. Okay, sales promotion is about um, samples, coupons, points of purchase, displays, premium contexts, loyalty programs and rebates. So I'll have an example. I don't think, ah, yes, yeah, so it's okay. Uh, so it's uh, one of the sales promotion techniques. It's one of our bank in Russia. I have received it five or six years ago, just in one um, IT event industry. So it was like a sample and uh, free samples is the way, um, so free samples is the thing that the most people love. A sample is uh, a sample promotion is which a small amount of a product uh, that is for sale of giving consumers to try. Uh, even some um, sellers from China, from Korean countries, uh, from Oriental countries, and not only from Oriental countries use uh, the samples channel uh, for selling their products for the lowest price without taxes. Why not? Okay, if they can. Um, so supporting um, for your sales promotion through the direct so marketing communication and so integrated marketing communication. It's weekly email, promotional information on website, posters, some flyers, so sweet text form important to a magazine advertisement, social media, and so on, so on. It's not the whole channels of support your sales promotion. Of course, we must understand that uh, we'll have some common sales uh, techniques and uncommon like personal. And so uh, when we need to use a personal selling, not a group selling, so because uh, your uh, 
personal selling and general selling through the channel um, really differs. And so uh, when we need to use uh, a personal selling, when we talk about um, some situation when our products or service is not a good fit for personal selling. It's an expensive technics. Um, it's really expensive technique because you need to hire a professional or to train a professional for personal selling. Uh, you need to, to give him a salary and um, your sales representative must be on the top of the cost of doing business because it's very expensive to have uh, a big amount of your sales representatives. But um, sometimes company needs uh, this uh, personal selling promotion strategy and uh, it depends on marketing needs and on business model of the company. Some companies use only these channels for their selling and for their promotion. Like even mm, Kirby and so on. So it's a personal selling when you have a very expensive product and don't have so much money to give a big advertisement to a person. Okay. I want to remember you that direct marketing is going straight to the customer, to your consumer, and direct marketing activities bypass any intermediaries and communicate directly to the individual consumer. It's connected with personal selling. Yes, it's the same, almost the same, but not the have difference. So it's like a direct mail is personalized to the individual to consumer. It's based on whatever company knows about the person needs. Okay, yes, here we have about some personal information. The more you know, the more personal and the more direct marketing you will have. Uh, not only um, cosmetic companies or food companies uh, use direct marketing. Even Corporation Dell, it's one of the giant of uh, IT industry used uh, direct marketing and direct sales on their site for a long period of time. Uh, and it includes uh, mails, catalogs and telemarketing and the thousands of giant mails offers from credit card companies, bankers and charitable organizations. Yes, 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 charitable organizations too that load mailboxes every year so buy our products this or this or this or even this one is also junk mail sometimes but it's um it's really work or some editory and direct marketing is an optimal method for marketing communication when a company primary distribution channel is to sell products or services directed to the company. Uh, so the company sells their products through the mail or they need to, to promote some dis discounts and in sports spread the words about these offers to consumers. So an advertising can significantly convey the main benefits of a company. Yes, because when you try to... Uh, make some mail companies in constructor, you find out that your editor read only the first page in your letter. And as information get into the junk, even of design, even of just mm, some points of understanding your editor. And of course it costs money, but less money than paid promotional and PR. Yes, it's one of the cost effective way of your promotion. But it depends on the data. Data you need to collect. So one of the way to collect several data uh, of your customers is to do it in uh, small steps like uh, do HubSpot. So when you first come to your website, they only ask you about your email or connect to social media. So they already know your email, even your name. Uh, sometimes they need to, to know your phone, but uh, for today, it's not usually working this way. 
after some periods of time, the company you connected to ask you to provide them some new short part of your personal information, like a phone number for some security reasons. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's for security reasons, but they really need your information into their database. Then they ask you about uh, your age, uh, of uh, they already know of your country, mainly from cookies, but it's not always work properly because you can use VPN. Yes, you can. And uh, after that, they start to collect uh, some information from marketing cookies uh, and from your search engines, from your social media about you to make the, your image more complete. And uh, the data here is the key to effective direct marketing. Direct marketing also works in Instagram. When you work with uh, your customers for Instagram shop, it works in VK, in social media, when you have a shops inside your media platforms. Uh, because um, uh, you need to track uh, the activity and you need to track links uh, that um, used your consumers uh, to understand their interests and their pains. And so what they view and what they visit, even uh, some groups, they are members of. Uh, just to make your next offer more personalized and more suitable. Okay, the next digital marketing, your favorite one. It's about SMM, websites and so on and so on. So direct marketing was about communication in digital marketing but it's a different thing. So digital marketing is an umbrella term for using a digital tools uh, to promote uh, and market products, services, organization, and brands through the digital channels. Uh, as consumers and businesses become more relevant and more digital, uh, communications uh, became, digital communications became more powerful and importance of digital marketing have increased. And the direct marketing section of this model already discusses two digital tools. It's email and also it's about mobile marketing, mm, telemarketing, of which fit into both categories. And this section will discuss as essential tools of digital marketing tools kit. It's not on the website. It's also about content marketing, search engine optimization, or SEO, and social media marketing. Yes, that is here. So what's the difference from another points? Um, it's an interactive, mobile and portable, highly merchable, it's shareable, it has synergy with other marketing activities. Yes, and it really exists in every point of our life. While we have an internet and while we have connection. When it is connected from the web, digital marketing doesn't work for you. And, um, Digital marketing tools are an integrated part of the most uh, integrated marketing communication campaigns as they provide digital communication supports to target and reinforce campaign messages and activities in other, uh, in other media. Uh, so here we go, some examples of digital marketing tools supporting integrated marketing activity. Mm like media campaigns uh, on forums, uh, campaigns uh, on televisions that are mostly uploaded on YouTube channels, Twitter and other social media platform, and uh, well-designed web contacts as websites and so on and so on. And then next. So talking about the elements, it's, uh, you can find these uh, top tips in Canva session. Uh, it's just for your understanding. Uh, how to talk with sales specialists and uh, take uh, to him or to her what you need to do. And uh, this is some tips even for social media marketing. The same you can find it in Canvas and you already know most of it. Uh, we have talked about it many times. So just one maybe point needs to... Um, I want you to remember that every social media activity needs to be monitored. 
So monitor social media activity regularly and be sure to respond to the consumers, customers, and other users for their comments and so on, so on. Just makes them believe that you have more reaction than just the marketers, that you are a living being and so uh, you have some emotions and reasons and so on. Guerrilla marketing. Oh, it's one of the, not a new way, but one of the uh, hardest way of your marketing promotion. Guerrilla marketing is like um, mm, type of promotion that combine elements of beat, humor, and spectates uh, or capture people's attention and engage them in the marketing act. So the main idea to engage people in your marketing act. Um, because guerrilla marketing is memorable and uh, it like to regenerate militaries and name for something unexpected. So, so tentacles and uh, telltales uh, signs of guerrilla marketing, it's imaginative and surprising, but it's very hip of a advertising way. It does uh, assemble traditional marketing and active as such as Okay, we have six minutes. I think we will good enough. It's used combination of different marketing communication tactics. Uh, it's experimental and uh, takes risks that it uh, will get some bad points to your brand reputation, to your company reputation. You must understand that it's very risky type of promotion. And it's not 100% um, approved to by the establishment uh, and by the law. So just keep it in mind that sometimes it's a bad way to use it so not in a proper way. Okay. So when we can use Gorilla Marketing, when we need to get media attention and make it positive and memorable connection with your target audience. Uh, so many sport companies uh, use it like marathons and so on. Uh, they focus on creating an experience that embodies the spirits of the brand. And uh, this project, on these projects, uh, they invite some um, people who encounter the campaign to become co-conspirators and achieving the campaign's uh, vision and reach. So um, you also can read some techniques about guerrilla marketing but we will just see the main idea so guerrilla tactics that include graffiti yes you must understand that sometimes prohibited by the law but you have a really good way for um, using some agreement with companies when they place your graffiti on their buildings um, also, you can use some graphics uh, of um, oh, ho, ho, ho. on your dress. So it's like a brand promotion here. And so it's also a graphic that really works. Uh, stealth marketing, it's like virus marketing, stickers, uh, you already mentioned it in Telegram. Uh, and in VK flash mobs, yes, it really works still, and it's a good idea for your promotion, uh, even for stealth promotion. Yes, it really works. Public stunts, treasure hunts, uh, treasure hunts work with bloggers, with influencers connected with them. It's a really good idea, but it also can work separately. And shame events. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, but sometimes uh, it's a bad idea about fake and so on. So, uh, the role of integrated marketing in Gurial marketing. As no, um, I will not ask you the question, but the idea, the main idea was to understand your thoughts about it. So I will tell you, as noted above, one telltale sign in Google marketing is the way it blends multiple tactics to create maximum exposure and impact. So the people involved in Google marketing, and it's the main idea to involve the people and your consumers in your activity. And it's, uh, and here we have a connection between your uh, integrated marketing communication and guerrilla marketing tactics. Uh, so you can use both of it 
even you connect people with social media too, with digital marketing, with direct marketing, and use a guerrilla marketing just to involve them and to make an impression of them is a great way. And uh, real world guerrilla messages and promotional pieces often include information to access company websites where custom designed landing page welcome visitors to the online counterparts of guerrilla experience. And yes, it's long term relationships uh, with the emotion. Okay, so um, it's all for today. I think we have two minutes more. If you have some question, you're welcome. But I think the information was very short indeed. It's I need some two or three session for better explanations that every point we have already mentioned for today. Okay, any questions? May I ask, uh, regarding our exam, what yes. um, shall we present there exactly? Okay, uh, you will share your cases. So uh, it will be the whole plan, the whole marketing plan, the presentation of it, uh, with all of your suggestion during our session during our course. Uh, it's like a quintessence of your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, okay, still, uh, you will have a very short test. It's okay. You can try to make some tests in uh, our last session, in uh, uh, this session in your Canvas course. Um, it will help you to make uh, the final test. It's just on your level, it will be like a joke because you understand the situation and it will not uh, so hard to pass it. And also make a good presentation, met, uh, use some additional materials in Canvas course, and see you. Does this mean? Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. See you on exams. And someone may be early.